Hi, I'm Dave, and in this video, I just want to um, show you a, uh, a bug I found in ConvertKit. Um, it's about a mouse over, like mouse entering and mouse leaving an area. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here exactly. Um, I have created a, um, I'm just going to show you here. Okay, so this is my bottom layer here. I want this, and this is going to be above this layer, okay, Oops. and then this is my top layer. It's semi-transparent. Uh, the reason for that, let me move this over here a bit. The reason I made it semi-transparent is just so it's easier to see. Maybe later on I'll just make it totally transparent. Um, but when editing, it's easier to see it. So, okay, here's... Now... This is the top layer. The reason I have this on top is what I want to do. I want to go to click or, or put my mouse over on this, uh, the area here uh, in this box. And, uh, this, uh, button with the pink is going to disappear or fade out. And then you'll see, once it fades out, you'll see the brown one underneath. Okay. So that was the logic there. And the reason to have a screen here is, um, that when the brown appears, technically my mouse is now on the brown, but if the screen's on top, it'll only always be on this screen area because it'll be the top layer still. It's just shining through, so I'm still always on this layer. I hope that makes sense. So it's it's because it'll it'll sort of oscillate if I if I don't use the screen and if I uh, what happens the pink will disappear and the brown will show up now now my mouse is on the brown. And so my logic would be a little hard to work with on, uh, you know, making things work. So this is a little more robust, the, the screen. So just to clarify that. So anyway, uh, it is working, but it's not working very good. It's, it seems to have, convertory seems to have timing issues. Whereas if a person moves the mouse too fast, doesn't want to respond properly and it gets sort of loses its marbles and doesn't know what's going on. So also I should mention, this top banner, I did something similar, whereas I have, let's see if I can move it, see I have a, a, green, a, a light green screen on top. I did the same kind of thing with my logo. I have a small logo, and on top of that, I have a bigger logo. So what I did here was sort of the same idea. So basically, when you come up, your mouse is over this, oh, this uh, transparent, semi-transparent area on the top layer. Um, I, I, I'm hiding the smaller logo and then I'm, uh, fading in the, the, the bigger logo version. So it just kind of looks like the logo magnifies and it works, but again, it's, it, I'll show you what the issue is. So, um, and I, okay, so that's, that's the explanation there. And, I, and then I, I should mention this area in the bottom was created. This is an iframe. This isn't from Convertry. This is an iframe I have in Convertry. Um, and, it uses the same idea with the buttons, but it wasn't made in virtual unit. It works, it works fine. It's no problem there. I'll show you the difference. Um, okay, so I'm going to save this now. Uh, then I'm going to, we're going to preview it. Uh, let's publish that. Oh, I guess we could have just published it. Let's publish that. And, uh, there we go. Okay, it's done. So let's go to our page here. Reload this page. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, uh, here's the top part. We'll go on there. See? That's the effect I want to magnify. But now watch what happens if I kind of go, oh, see? I went a little fast and it, it gets lost. It just, it, it, it disappears. See? And I go, just, you know, yeah, there we go. That should never happen, right? Uh, okay. And here's, here's the one made by the iframe. The program I use is called Zara. And it basically, okay, has the same, I kind of made the same effect, but it'll never, I'll never lose that effect no matter how often I go in and out and how fast I go. It, it, I think from my observation, what's happening with Convertry, it, it, if you go really slow and come out slow, it seems to be okay. It seems that, but you know, users, oh, that was even pretty slow and it disappeared there. So I guess I'm not 100% accurate on that. Uh, and here, same thing. This should start out pink like that. And when I get over this area, go brown, 
I'm like, come on, pink. So that's normal, but watch what happens. So it should never be brown when my mouse is off, but look what happens. See, there you go. I'm brown, right? So, and here's another button. This was, this button here is not converted, uh, was not done in convert tree. This was done in another one. So it'll never do that. You see? No matter how often I go in it, it'll always stay pink when I'm off. So definitely there's an issue there, but, um, this button is actually done in convert tree, actually. This is just a, uh, so this, this, this is just a button with a, you know, uh, it, it doesn't use those, uh, it's just a regular button with the mouse over effect, but it's not the fade in, fade out. It's just, um, let me show you. Stem over, let me click on that. So this is, like, this is a button with text. Eh? It's not, a, it's not a real button. It's just a, a uh, I guess it's like a, uh, what do they call that panel? The tags, and then the idea there was okay, if I click on the background there, it's just um, background. So I mouse over it, goes around. That's how I did that one. But the other ones were done a little different. They're using the action. Well, if you click on, you know, here, okay, uh, let's go down actions. These are my settings for, for that this screen here, the top screen. So basically you can see um, the pink button will fade out, okay, because underneath it's the brown button. And then when you leave them out, the pink button will fade back in. Um, so it works when it's, if you move really slow sometimes, but sometimes it even fails. I was just wondering if your developers are aware of that or maybe check that out. Okay, thanks for watching.